Welcome to the Basilica of Santa Maria Gloriosa dei Frari. The panel in front of you and this audio guide will help you to explore this outstanding masterpiece of Gothic architecture. At the center of the panel is a ground plan of the Basilica, with key headings to the left. On the right you will find the basic historical information about the building, and below that a diagram of the façade. The audio guide starts with a short historical introduction and then goes on to give a detailed description of the church and its façade. Historical Introduction The Friary is one of the most important and active religious and monastic centers in Venice. Known in Venice as the Friary and also as the Ca Granda, the big house, because of its size and preeminence, it began around 1220 as a place where the Order of Friars Minor preached the message of simplicity and poverty advocated by its founder, St. Francis of Assisi. The first building, a modest oratory donated by the Republic, stood in a marshy area, but by 1250 a bigger church was already needed to cope with the growing congregations. And in 1330, work started on a third building, today's Basilica, thanks to generosity of a number of wealthy Venetian families and other benefactors. This new church was consecrated in 1492 and dedicated to the Virgin Mary, assumed into heavenly glory, Santa Maria Gloriosa dei Frari. 300 cells and other monastic spaces were arranged around two large cloisters at the side of the basilica. In the difficult period following the fall of the Republic of Venice, 1797, Napoleon dissolved the Franciscan Order, 1810, transformed the friary into barracks for French troops and reduced the basilica to the status of a parish church. During the subsequent period of Austrian rule, from 1814, the buildings around the cloisters were reassigned to what are now the state archives, and the flurry began the slow process of revival. Layout The Basilica dei Frari, one of the most striking buildings in Venice, is built on a Latin cross plan 102 meters long and 48 meters wide at the transept. On entering the basilica, one's attention is immediately drawn to its best-known work of art, Titian's Assumption of the Virgin at the far end of the church, letter A. The body of the church, number one, is divided into a nave and two aisles by 12 pillars, symbolizing the apostles. These support pointed arches and cross-vaulted bays. The aisles are lined with altars and funeral monuments against the side walls of the church, including the monument to Titian, let B, in the right aisle, and the monument to Canova, let C, on the left. Further along on the left is the Renaissance altar of the Pesaro family, surmounted by another masterly work by Titian, the Pesaro Madonna. Letter D. In the center of the basilica stands the choir, number four, still in its pre-counter-reformation position. The wooden choir stalls, 1468, offer a fine example of Renaissance marquetry, by Marco and Francesco Cozzi of Vicenza. The choir is enclosed on three sides by a screen in marble and eastern stone, with the carved face towards the entrance, pierced by an arch that seems to frame the Titian Assumption on the high altar. Slightly raised along the longer side of the transept, number two, are six apse chapels and the polygonal presbytery, number three, illuminated by tall mullioned windows. The six chapels contain fine works of art and are dedicated to the cult of the Virgin Mary and various saints. In the first chapel to the right of the presbytery is a magnificent polychrome wood statue of St. John the Baptist by Donatello. Letter F. After the Pesaro altar, 
The left aisle widens to give access to the chapel dedicated to St. Peter, number five, and then to the square plan bell tower, number six. At 70 meters tall, the bell tower, or campanile, is the highest in Venice after that of St. Mark's. It was built of brick in simple Romanesque style between 1361 and 1396. The left transept leads to the chapel of St. Mark, number 7, on the altar which is the magnificent triptych depicting St. Mark with saints John the Baptist, Jerome, Niccolo and Peter by Bartolomeo Vivarini, letter E. The right transept gives access to the sacristy, number 8, with its splendid altarpiece by Giovanni Bellini, Madonna and Child with Saints, letter G, commissioned by the Pesaro family. Against the right-hand wall of the sacristy stands a monumental baroque altar displaying a precious collection of holy relics. A door in the sacristy leads to the chapter house, number 9, where the friars once held their meetings. In a corner of the room is the tomb of Doge Francesco Dandolo, one of the church's earliest. The painting in the lunette above the urn is by Paolo Veneziano, a masterpiece depicting the Madonna enthroned with the child, the Doge and the Dogaressa and Saints, letter H. The chapter house looks out onto the cloister of the Holy Trinity, number 10, now part of the state archives, dominated by an early 18th century wellhead with sculptures. The facade. The facade of the basilica is 32 meters wide by 28 meters high. The Gothic style of the basilica in general is qualified in this case by the adjective Franciscan because the spires, pinnacles and flying buttresses, typical of pure Gothic, give way here to simpler architectural features. The façade is divided into three vertical sections by pilasters corresponding to the nave and aisles of the interior. Each section has one or two circular windows of different diameters and the warm-colored brick surface features delicate inserts of white and pink marble or of Eastern stone. The monumental doorway, narrow window surrounds, cornices with bands of blind arches, pinnacles, bas-reliefs and statues. The late Gothic monumental doorway is framed on either side by hexagonal section semi-pilasters surmounted by 15th century statues attributed to Bartolomeo Bon and depicting the Virgin and Child and St. Francis. Above the central pointed arch is Alessandro Vittoria's Christ Resurrected, sculpted in 1581. The cornices marking the gable lines are decorated with blind pointed arches and above them are lobed elements with blind oculi that soften the upper outline of the façade. The two central pilasters and the summit of the façade are topped by three turrets. <laughs> 